All right, you talk about the emotions uh, in a Pakistan match. I've got somebody with me who's been displaying a lot of that today. Um, you know, talk us through your journey. I mean, uh, we saw a range of emotions from you uh, when uh, Pakistan was bowling. It was such a straightforward catch, so it was really disappointing to see it in front of me being dropped. So probably it showed over my face. <laughs> I mean, you, you stood up for a bit, you were waiting for it to be caught, and then you just got disappointed. Yeah, because I could see it land on his hand, and then he dropped it. So it was really disappointing to see it in just, uh, as I said, in front of me. And I couldn't say anything because he had just come off a very uh, family tragedy, I guess. So I didn't shout at him. <laughs> Pakistan's feeling has been a bit of a letdown today, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. But Afridi was very good on the boundary. So something to look forward to. Uh, outfielding was very good, except for the catching. What about Mohammad Amir? Oh, wow. Fabulous. After a fabulous, after a very long time, we saw him bowl. And he was very fast as well. So that was very encouraging to see for the remaining matches as well. Where have you traveled from to come to see the game? I live in London, so I traveled over uh, three and a half hours, drove over here just to see the match with my friends over here. He's, he's come over from uh, Dubai and Shahzad. He's... I traveled. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yes. Yeah. I have come all the way from Dubai just to witness this match, and uh, it's been great. The weather is nice. Pakistan is very competitive today. They gave, made a great comeback, and Amir was awesome. I mean, he was uh, he was the best performance. He was the he was the old Amir that we used to know, the real Amir. Yeah. So I mean, uh, are you gonna are you gonna chant for Pakistan now? Come on. Of course, all the way. I think it's time to head out now.